right, today we're going to be making my family's chicken pan roll recipe. This has been one of my long-standing favorites and I've enjoyed so many growing up. These are deliciously sweet, spicy, tangy, all in one with the most crispy yet soft covering. You're watching Plating It with Wendy where I share with you recipes which impress with these. I'm so excited to share my family's pan roll recipe with you. So let's get started. Let's kick things off by cooking the filling. We're going to add three tablespoons of vegetable oil to a heated skillet. To that, we're going to add two medium onions, which is approximately one and a quarter cup of finely chopped onions. Once the onions have turned translucent, we're going to add one teaspoon of finely chopped ginger and three cloves of crushed garlic. And I'm using my garlic press here, but you could finely chop the garlic if you preferred. Let's add one chopped green chili, one and a half inch stick of cinnamon, three cardamoms, and four cloves. And for a bit of time, we're going to add half a cup of finely chopped tomato. We're going to saute this all together so the ginger and garlic lose their raw flavor. The spices release their fragrance and the tomatoes turn nice and soft. And to that, let's add 250 grams of ground chicken, two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon cumin powder, and one teaspoon salt. Using our spatula, we're gonna break down the ground chicken and mix it with the spices. We're gonna saute it till the spices and the ground chicken get well combined. For a bit of tang, we're gonna add one tablespoon of vinegar, and to balance the flavors, we'll add one tablespoon of sugar, and half a cup of freshly chopped cilantro, which is going to give our mince that lovely fresh flavor. We're gonna saute this till it gets well distributed with the ground chicken, and the chicken absorbs all the wonderful flavors. And once the chicken is cooked, it's time to take off the cinnamon stick, the cloves, and the cardamoms. We're gonna transfer it to a bowl and allow it to cool. To make the batter for our crepes, we're gonna go in with 250 grams of all-purpose flour. And to that, we're going to add one teaspoon of salt and give it a quick whisk. We're going to add in one egg and we're going to break that down. We're going to add one cup of water to it and whisk it so that we loosen it up before we add it to the flour. This is going to prevent the flour from lumping up. Gradually going to add it in and keep whisking. We're going to add more water. We're going to first start with the egg and water mixture. And we're going to add approximately a cup of water more and whisking continuously so that we get a nice smooth batter. Once you've got a nice smooth texture to your batter, and it's about this consistency, it's time to make the crepes. To a heated nine inch skillet, we're gonna drop in a little oil and using a paper towel, let's spread it on the base of the pan. Now using a ladle, we're gonna spoon in about half a cup of batter into the pan. You're gonna swirl the pan to get a thin layer on the base and we want it evenly coated. And once the edges curl up, it's time to flip it and cook it for just about a second before we slide it off the pan. We're going to continue this process till we have approximately a cup of the batter remaining in the bowl and this we're going to preserve to use later. You should get about 12 crepes. I made about 12 crepes and I preserved about one cup of the batter and I'm going to transfer one spoon into another bowl. Actually two spoons I think I'm going to go in for. And we're going to use the batter in the small bowl to seal the pan rolls and the one in the bigger bowl to coat the pan rolls. To the smaller bowl, we're gonna add about half a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. That's because we want a nice gooey texture to the batter. This is gonna help us seal the pan rolls. To coat the pan rolls, we need a batter which is a little thinner than the batter we used to make the crepes. So we're gonna add half a tablespoon of water to the batter and check whether we need to add any more. We're gonna add another half tablespoon Okay, this consistency is just right. Before assembling the pan rolls, I like to create a workstation to make the process easy. So we're gonna take one of the crepes and put in some of the filling to one side. I'm gonna flip over the top and fold in the sides. 
and this is going to help to seal the pan roll so that nothing spills out and then we're going to roll it while tucking in the sides. And once you reach the end, it's time to apply some of that gooey mixture we made to give it a final seal. And now once we've rolled it, we're going to dip it into our batter and coat it with breadcrumbs. Now let's dunk it into the batter and coat it on all sides. Then we're going to lift it up and drain off the excess batter. Once it has drained, we're going to roll it in some breadcrumbs. And using a fork, we're just going to roll it over. We're going to be very gentle, making sure not to pierce through the crepe. And we're going to lift it up, shake off all the excess breadcrumbs, and double dip it into the batter. This is going to give us that lovely crunch on the outside. And once again, we're going to drain off the excess batter before we dunk it for the second time into the breadcrumbs. And now once again with our fork, we're going to roll it over. Make sure to get all the sides. And now we're going to lift it up. Shake off the excess breadcrumbs. Now we're going to place it in the plate and prepare the rest. Now that we've prepped all our pan rolls, let's go over to the stove and fry them. Using a chopstick, we're going to look for bubbles rising to the top of the oil to know that our oil is nice and heated. Now we're gently going to place in the pan rolls into the hot oil and I place about three in the pan because I feel that it will give me a nice chance to be able to flip them around so that they get golden brown on all sides. By this time, our pan rolls are already cooked, but we want that nice crunch. So we're going to fry them for a little bit longer so that we get that crispy outer shell. This is a great prep ahead meal which can be kept in the refrigerator and warmed up just in time to enjoy them. And now that they're well fried and crispy on all sides, it's time to lift them up one at a time, drain off the excess oil and place them on a wire rack till we finish frying all the pan rolls. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now it's time to give it a taste. I'm going to go in for this cut one already. Mm. Hey, and before I go, if you love my recipes and enjoy my videos but haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and if you hit on that bell icon, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit on that like button and leave me your comments below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.